Welcome to Mashifts and we are going to explain how to side load Google Play Store on your Fire tab. The Fire tab is a pretty nice device and the hardware is pretty reliable. Even the Fire tab is pretty good. Compared to Android tab, it's missing a lot of apps. The Android store has millions of apps. What you can do, you can side load Google Play Store along with the Amazon App Store and you have a flexibility to use both App Store on this Fire tab. Let us see how to do that. There are a couple of things to do before we proceed here. First of all, you have to remove your micro SD card from your Amazon Fire tab. If there is a micro SD card, the internal memory and the SD card memory may merge together and they may have some issues for installing the apps. The second thing, you have to make sure that you are updated to the latest version. So you can go to settings and device options and system updates. Make sure that you update the Fire tab. The third one, you have to change the Fire Tablet app installation permission. Usually the Fire Tablet for security reasons, they won't allow to install any third party apps. So you can go for the settings from, right from here, from this icon, or you can scroll down and tap on the icon over there. So let me go to settings here, scroll down and security and privacy. You see apps from unknown sources. So if you want to install any unknown apps or third party apps, you have to enable these settings. We have to go forward to install third party apps over there. Now your Fire Tablet is ready to install third party apps and APK files. Before we go further, we have a few steps to do here. First of all, you have to find out your tablet version and install the etsat apk file for that particular version. Do not use any other version of these apk files that may not be compatible for your Fire tablet. And you have to follow the same order of the files that we listed over there. So you are supposed to install Google Account Manager first, then Google Services Framework, then Google Play Services, and last, Google Play Store. Do not change this order. If you install these APK files in a wrong order, I would recommend to remove all those installed APK files and reinstall again. When you go to the APK link, you may see a latest version or updated version of those APK files. Do not try to install those latest versions. Always install the etsat APK version that dedicated for that particular Fire tab. As you know, the Fire tablet has its own browser that's called the Silk Browser. And you can see here, open your Silk Browser. We want to recommend this step because we already linked all APK files in our site. And tap on the search button and search for Fire tab. And you see the second link, how to install Android apps on Fire tablet tap on it. Alternatively, you can manually type this link on the top of your Silk browser or if you already have a computer, you can scan the QR code. We'll show you that for quick. By default, there is no option to read the QR code for this Fire tab. Go to App Store on Amazon QR Reader and Barcode Scanner. You can download any free apps over there. Let me download the first one and it's installing. Open. Use your Fire tab and scan the QR. There you go. Now, there is an option to open the web link. So you already loaded the article on your file tab and you can use the link below for downloading the apk files let us see so the first step you have to select the right device from here you may have very old device or you have a pretty new device and all those devices you have to download these four apps it's pretty quick it's not a big deal but based on the devices the apk file versions are different so you have to select the right apk files based on your device model we have listed all the devices and the apk file versions for those devices so if you don't know what is the device you already have scroll down and tap on settings device option device model and you will see the device models from this device option screen. I have Fire HD 8 and I'm going to show you how to install Google Play Store on this particular device. So if you have a different device you can click on the files based on the device you have. 
this APK files are from third party site and it's up to you to install this one. It may break your device or something happen. We will not be responsible for that. So I'm gonna tap on the first link to download on my Fire tablet. Let me tap on the first link and scroll down for download APK. You may see other message here. There are more recent versions available now but do not try the updated versions here because every part of a tablet there is a certain version that's going to work perfect with your tablet so i would not recommend to try any updated version over there let me download the apk so i'm gonna tap okay and it's downloading the files let me tap on open here and tap on install and it's going to install google account manager done and let me come back to my link page and let me install the second one so this is going to be google services framework the same way you have to scroll down download apk and tap on it and it's downloading and tap ok and let me tap on open next install done and let me try the third one google play services the download button download apk tap ok and it's downloading, tap open, tap on install, and we have to wait a few seconds. Installed, done. And there's one more last file we want to install, that's Google Play Store file. And scroll down until you see the APK button, and the download is starting. Tap OK, tap open, and next, install. So this is the last file, Google Play Store, and that's installing on your Fire tablet. And we are almost complete to assist you to 70% of this work. And done. You have installed all four files that's required on your Fire tablet. You can see all those four APK files that you installed on this Fire tablet. So before we go further, let us go into app settings and make sure we have installed all those four files. So go to Fire tab settings here, apps and games, and you see manage all apps. Under downloaded tab, you can see all those four files we have installed. The Google account manager, Google Play services, Play Store, and Google services framework. So all those apps are there and they already installed on your Fire tablet. Now you are ready to go. And now from your home screen, if you scroll down, you can see the Play Store here. That's already installed. So if you did everything in the right order, with the right version, these two apps will be there as an additional ones. The first one is Google Settings and the other one is Play Store. That's the one we are interested in here. So let us open that Google Play Store and you have to sign in as a new user and Google is checking the information. It's a little bit slow because it's the first time. Tap on next and it will ask you to the email you wanna sign in. That's the Gmail account they will use to install the apps from the Play Store. And you have to proceed from the next screen. I'm done. Then let me open the Play Store here. There you go. Now the Play Store is open, not now. So now we are good to go to install any apps from the Google Play Store right into your Fire tablet. Let us see a couple of them. So let me try Google Chrome and I wanna install on my Fire tablet, accept, open. So you can open right from there or come to the home screen. You can see Chrome here. So here is a Chrome browser on your Fire tablet. Let us try to install a couple of other apps here from the Play Store. Let me try to install Gmail and here we go. Install. Similarly, meanwhile, you can try for YouTube. There you go. You can install YouTube. That's a, you can get the same experience on YouTube exactly like the other. Let me see the full screen. Perfect. It's pretty good in FireTap too. Let me try here. And all good. Now see the apps that side loaded on Fire tabs. Where to see them or if you want, you can remove them. So now let us see all those apps installed here. Scroll down for the settings or you can get the settings from here itself. You see apps and games, manage all apps. Here you can see all the apps we recently downloaded from Google Play Store or Amazon Store. Just in case if you want to remove any app, you can uninstall right from here. If you tap on this uninstall button, it's gonna uninstall. 
Similarly, you can just tap and hold any app and tap on this uninstall, then it's gonna immediately uninstall from your tablet. Before you leave, there are some troubleshooting steps here. This is especially useful for those who may end up some issues here. Let us see few of them. So even though you install this Google Play Store here, some of the apps that may not show on this Play Store, that's because in the Play Store, some of the apps are hiding for rooted devices or any other third party devices. So for example, if you search here, the Netflix app, the Play Store will not show you that in the search result. There are few apps that may not show up on Play Store. In those cases, still you can go to Amazon App Store and search for Netflix and you can get it from there. When you install this APK files, you may see this parser because you are not following the same version of APK files that you have to install for that particular file tab. So make sure you are using the same APK files. If you end up by downloading a different version, remove that file from apps and games, manage all apps and download it. And you can uninstall here. If you see any wrong, version of apk files that you installed and the next one if you have any rom files that's already downloaded into kindle fire you can go and find out and remove it for that you would search for doc that's exactly like a file explorer on your windows tap on this doc app and local storage and you see all those files downloaded there so you can tap on it and delete any unwanted files right from the local storage if you end up any issue for installing the APK files and if you see a gray on this install button or it's not active, just tap and release the power button. Then the screen will turn off. Press again, scroll up and your install button will be active there. The other issue you may see the Play Store, they won't allow you to sign in. In that case, you have to force stop and clear data, then it will be all right. Open the fire settings apps and games, manage all apps, and Google Play Store. You have to force a stop first here, okay? Then clear cache. This is going to clear all the cache file that's temporarily saved there, and clear data, okay? That's gonna clear the cache that's stored in this file tablet. Now, come back to the home screen, tap again on the Play Store, then it will build a new cache and it will work for you. Sometimes if you face the issue and you won't be able to do anything, you can restart the Fire Tablet. Just press and hold on the power button, then it will ask you to, and tap again. And once it come back, it would be fine. The last option, if you end up any problem and if you couldn't resolve the issue, go to settings. And there is an option to restore the device into factory settings. Tap on this restore to factory settings and tap on reset then all the data and everything will erase from the fire tablet and the fire tablet will restore to the factory settings enjoy your new fire tablet we hope you enjoy this video and if you have any questions or concerns please comment below the video and we have linked our article below this video that's going to update for every new versions that come up on Amazon store. If you end up with a different versions that's not mentioned on this video, you can check that article for the right version of APK files. And we will update our article for more troubleshooting steps. If you end up with any other problems that's not listed in this video or in our article, please comment below. Thank you for watching this video and click on the subscribe button for latest updates from MASH Tips.